there are a lot of different entities out there and energies. I can't rule out aliens because I watched some parts of Skinwalker Ranch where they're dealing with UFOs and the things that are happening are the same as things that were happening at this one property. Plus clearing a house, I saw this thing that looked like an alien and it's what you would consider to be demonic. So I think it's really important to remember you have a certain knowledge base, but for as long as you've been around, these things don't ever die. They are energy and they are always around. Whether they're in our dimension or other dimensions, they've had so much time to understand our makeup and manipulate it. So while you might be seeing one thing, it can be something completely different. I think the most important thing is when it comes to energy, the only way that you are moving energy is if you hit it harder. So, especially energy with its own like, like uh, consciousness. When you encounter something that makes you uncomfortable, it makes you feel unsafe, you feel this sense of dread come over you and you know you're in danger. That's what it feels like to be around a demon. When you look that energy in the face and you, you can like encapsulate it is the word spirit is using in an energy that like your willpower and you make it leave task it you have to task it you have to task it to do something different because they're like predators and it's like a shark with blood in the water if you sit here and you be scared it's not gonna leave you alone. I don't care what you have, holy water crosses, doesn't matter because you're aware of it and it is psychic. It's aware of you being aware of it and it sees an opportunity. All of those things can help buffer it, but to someone who's psychic, I can tell you that it's still there. It's still looking for an opportunity to get in. You have to literally look at it okay this energy is really intimidating because it could kill me it's intimidating because it's high voltage and it's ancient and it has it has reach and it has a higher knowledge maybe than i do as far as energetic psychic looking at it but i'm alive and god is protecting me so you go fucking go over there you're going into a void where you can't get out of. It's the same as neutralizing energy. You picture a void. You see a black wall in the middle of the universe. You don't see the top or the bottom. It's just a black wall. And on the other side of it, when I neutralize energy, I say it brings the energy down to, it breaks it completely down. For this, I would say picture a wall that just seals them in knowing that they can't get out of that and you take that energy that's intimidating and you guide it in through that wall and you pull your hands out clean knowing that as soon as it went through that wall god is locking it in there everything is energy it's trickier when when that energy is able to think yes, but you have more pull. You have to treat it like a bully.